Hey folks, Zach UNC here coming at you with some new Lego stuff. Um, this is going to be part of my newest rover, uh, my newest creation, the Rover Walker, which is going to operate like a regular four-wheel drive rover, uh, steering of course front and rear with this swivel functionality, um, which is generated by this um, turntable up here. It's also going to have another turntable on the Z-axis behind this so that the entire front and rear end, or front or rear end rather, can rotate like that. So those functions together will lend it the ability to walk like this. It will be able to push a wheel or pull a wheel up, push it forward, set it down. Pull a wheel up, push it forward, set it down, and so on and so forth. In addition to being able to drive, um, the drive goes through um, a Torsen-style automatic locking differential. And the reason for this is because when it steers, like so, when it swivels, one wheel is moving forward, the other wheel is moving back. So I need a, a, a differential ability to have that to occur without snapping an axle. However, if one wheel is up like so, this is going to have a lot less resistance than the wheel on the ground. I don't want all the power diverted that way, so I can't use a regular open differential. That's why I'm using the Torsen differential. What it does is it will only it allows one side to slip up into a certain point. So the way that I've got the, the gears inside, which control how much rotation it sends to one side or the other, um, currently will allow one side to rotate 360 degrees, one, one full rotation, before um, power is diverted to both wheels. Okay, So it will still s slip, so to speak. Uh, either side can do it. Um, up into a certain point, after which it will be a fully locked spindle gear, basically. Um, so that's that's a really good function. Um, and come back later for more.